All right, welcome back everybody. Tiger's curriculum. So we have your Tiger's orange belt technique. So we're gonna go through all five of them. Make sure you get your brains ready because it's gonna be a good ride, okay? First technique is five swords. Now we all know how much trouble we've been having with five swords. So we're gonna practice this in as many ways as we can to get you guys to get this, okay? First thing we're doing, we're stepping forward, throwing a, a double inward block. From here, so when I say double inward block, first of all, that means both arms are blocking. You're in a neutral ball, so you're not stepping out to the side, stepping straight ahead. From there, your lead arm, which is your right arm, is gonna come from this block position into an outward hand sword. Left arm stays up as you do that. You're still in a neutral ball in that first strike. Your very next move now, you're gonna rotate forward to do a straight finger thrust. When you do that, I need the back part here. I need your back foot, back hip, everything turning forward. So as we turn forward, notice that her hand is gonna go straight with a straight finger thrust. Then notice where her right arm went, right back to a chamber position. When you do the straight finger thrust, you're aiming for your own eyes. So if you had a look in the mirror, you'd be aiming right for yourself, just like so. From here, we're gonna rotate from that neutral, but from that forward ball, back to a neutral ball. Now, as you do that, your uppercut is coming out in front of you. A lot of you guys have a habit that from here, you'll rotate and do this. I want you to go from here and bring that uppercut going straight in front of you. So she rotates out, and this is just staying right above it, okay? So that's your right arm doing the uppercut. Now, here's a part that we always have a lot of trouble with. This is facing 12 o'clock. Let's say this is gonna be going to 10.30. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this right foot, I'm sorry, the left foot. We're gonna step back in the opposite direction of 1030. So as Miss Lizzie does this, she's gonna take this foot, bring it back over here, and she's going to be in a lunge stance, okay? So that means she's on the ball of this back foot. As that happens, the arm, the left arm that's above the uppercut is gonna shoot out into a hand sword going into that position. The other hand is going from the uppercut position and it's gonna come right up, and you're gonna cock it up here right by your ear, okay? This motion we always have a hard time with. So from here, we're gonna go back, go back to the uppercut. So as you step, I want you, you're gonna end up making all of these happen at the same time. So again, first move is taking that step, and then shooting the hand sword out as this hand is inverted up here. The reason why it's there is because we're gonna go into our next motion, which means from here we're gonna rotate and turn into a neutral bow. As that happens, she's coming in with the inward hand sword at the end, and her left hand is here checking the whole time. All right? Now we're gonna try to do this facing the other way so you guys can kind of follow along and try to make this thing happen, okay? So, first move, stepping forward into a double inward block. From here, you make sure you're in the same side, you're in the right finding stance. Now from here, right arm's gonna extend out to outward hand sword. Good job. Now remember, we're rotating into a forward bow here, so you're gonna to turn to a forward bow and your rear hand is gonna be the hand doing the straight finger thrust. That's going straight ahead. This way. There we go. From there, oh, we're gonna rotate back to a neutral bow. The arm that's uh, back here, cocked back here, that's gonna be in a chamber position, which is your right, is gonna come out straight to uppercut. It's not going up this way, and it's definitely like going sideways. You're bringing it straight out towards me and the camera. There you go, and that's your uppercut, and you're back into a neutral bow. From here, you're rotating out of it, then you're gonna take a step, bring this foot all the way over here, and 10.30 for you guys is gonna be coming out this way. So she's gonna take that hand sword and thrust that hand sword at me this way. So that means your right leg is in front, look at her back foot. This is where I want your back foot to be looking like. From there, you have this hand sword with the left, Right hand is cocked up here by your ear. And from there, your very last move, you're gonna rotate out into an inward hand sword. And that's five swords. So here's what's happening with five swords. Come back. If I throw a hook punch at Miss Lizzie, she's coming in and she's gonna stop that punch right there. From there, her first move is what? Hand sword, uh, out, right to the neck. From that hand sword, she's gonna rotate forward into a straight finger thrust that goes to the eyes. And from there, she's gonna rotate over. Oh, uppercut hits the lower stomach. That brings me over. Now, see where this hand is at? She's gonna step off the line to pick me back up with this hand sword. Bang! And right from there, she's gonna rotate out of it. Hand sword right there. Does that make sense? So from here, come back. Do a little punch. What's gonna happen, guys, is from here, you guys are gonna work on learning 
how to move a little bit more fluidly. And as you go through it, go ahead again. Here. And we're going to try to get you guys moving as fast as possible to get to do the same thing. Can you handle that? You guys want to see where Lizzie hit me for a second? I bet you would. Not going to happen right now. Okay, bring it back. Now we're going to the next technique, which is crossing talent. Crossing talent is for a cross wrist grab. So that'd be me staying in front of Miss Lizzie, grabbing her right wrist with my right hand, okay? So we're gonna go over this, and then we'll turn face the other way so you can follow us as well, okay? Right hand out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come around and re-grab, and as you do that, I want you to work on pulling your elbow back into your side as your left foot steps, steps up to 45 and go into what we call an arm bar position. So that means this left arm is pulling back, right arm's got your elbow kind of inside your body there, tucked up against your body, and your arm is parallel, your forearm is parallel to the ground right here, okay? From that motion, she's gonna take the same left arm, she's gonna reach up across her chest because she's doing an outward elbow, but the outward elbow is coming in a downward angle. There you go, so she's got the outward elbow from there. Your, her hand, right now you can't see her hand, but her hand is pointing in this direction. So it's not pointed into her, it's just palm facing down. From here, after she does the outward elbow, she's gonna extend out into the heel palm right to the face. From there, she's gonna rotate her upper body as she brings this arm in. It's almost like if you wanna take your back of your hand, almost act like you're wiping the back of your hand against your thigh, you're gonna come around, overhead, and drop an elbow, overhead elbow. The whole time she's doing this, this right arm is back here still holding on, okay? After the overhead elbow, you're gonna just, collect, you're gonna extend that hand out, that grabs the back of the head, and you're gonna knee, Come back to this neutral bow, and from here, you're gonna break. The way you wanna break the arm is you're gonna push down with your left as you pull up with your right, but both are gonna happen at the same time, okay? So again, come back, hand out. We re-grab and step, there we go. From there, reach across your chest, outward elbow, collapse down to the heel palm, come all the way around, overhead elbow, the same left hand arm that just at the elbow, we're gonna reach out and grab, knee, and then come right back into the break. So now I'm gonna face this way and do it. Okay, follow along, right hand is out in front of you. You're gonna re-grab, so for you guys now, you're stepping out to that 45. Now look at where her hands are at. Right arm is pulling up on the wrist, left arm is gonna be right there on the person's elbow, I'll show you that in a little while. From here, same left arm, reach across your chest, outward elbow, collapse down into a heel palm, and we're gonna come all the way around overhead, drop the elbow. From there, you're gonna grab, knee, and break. Awesome, bring it back. Let's see if we can make this thing look lively for you guys. Let's see, uh, we'll go this way. So that way you guys get a good view. So from here, she's gonna re-grab my wrist as she steps forward. The reason why she's stepping at angles because she's trying to step in front of me. She doesn't want me up here. Okay, so again, from here, reaches around, grabs, steps in, ow! And she's trying to hurt Mr. Danny. From here, she's gonna do her outward elbow, then her heel palm, boom, come all the way around, overhead elbow drops right on the spine, ow! Grabs the head, knee, and break. Boom! All right, that's what you guys have for crossing talent. All right, moving on to the next one. Buckling branch, it's for a step through left front kick, all right? First move, come over to the center a little bit. First move, Miss Lizzie's gonna drop back and do a downward block with her left. Now she's done a left fighting stance. Right hand is up checking as she does that. Now from here, she's gonna step through, and two things are gonna happen. She's gonna throw a front kick in this direction, going up to 45. But then she's gonna drop her foot on the other side at 45. So watch this, as she steps through and throws a front kick, Front kick's going this way, she pulls it back. Now turn your foot and you're landing into a twist stance towards the other 45. That means your right foot in step is pointed forward and you're gonna take your back foot, rotate, get on the ball of your foot just like she's on the ball of her foot right now. From here, which is considered her back leg, which is her left leg right now, she's gonna pull that knee up and that's gonna go into a stomping side kick that's going to the back of somebody's knee. Side kick and then retracts and lands in the fighting stance. All right, okay, let's face away from the camera. So same thing, follow along, drop back, downward block. Good, now just remember, your front kick is gonna go in this direction. Then after you throw the front kick, bring the foot back because you're gonna drop it going back in this direction. 
So front kick comes out this way, there, pull back, turn your foot to where the instep of your foot is pointed this way, and you drop it out that way. From here, we're gonna take this back foot, and she's gonna do a stomping side kick with that left leg, and land in the fighting stance, all right? So again, put it back, facing this way. Um, I'm gonna kick at you. Let's see, give you guys the best angle so you can see all the hits, okay? So from here, front kick comes in, she's gonna step back and block the kick. Pop, once I land here, front kick goes underneath the groin, then she drops away from me to create space between me and her. Then her last side kick is gonna end up kicking the back of my knee. As she kicks that, she's gonna kick and drop me down. All right? That's all you guys should get. Just kidding, moving on to the next. Thrusting prongs is for a so front bear hug, okay? That means a person's got you and your arms are pinned against your body. So we're gonna work on what we're gonna throw with this. First two motions are what we call wrench hands. That means you're making your, putting your four fingers together this way, tuck that thumb on the inside of your hand, and you're gonna curl your wrist in. This is the part of my wrist when I drop back to do this, this is the position I'm gonna see your wrist in. However, looking from a front position, I wanna see your hands together, not apart. So make sure as you do this first part here, your hands come in and they're stuck together this way, thumb to thumb, all right? So first motion, she's gonna drop, as she slides her right leg back. What she's not, what I mean by drop is when she's doing this, look at my torso, she's not stepping back. What she's gonna do is keep her torso right here, but take that right foot, and it's gonna slide out as she does the first strike. That's a double rich hand that's going to the groin. From here, she's reaching up underneath, grabbing that shoulder, and from there, she's gonna do two things. As she steps through and throws a knee, she's gonna bring this right hand back into a chamber position. Both of those are happening at the same time. So as she knees, pull back, there. From there, that's a side kick that's gonna go out to the front 45, and that's very low kick because that's kicking the inside of the person's knee. So she's gonna kick that out, boom, and back. Now she's gonna drop back to 12 o'clock as she goes in to the inward elbow with her right arm. Left arm is still holding on, so that doesn't move. From the point that you get to this part, you don't move it, you keep it right there the whole time, okay? So again, now I'm gonna face this way. From here, she's gonna drop back, double rich hand. From there, reaches underneath to grab. Then she's gonna go with the step through, knee to the groin, kicking the inside of the knee from there. And right from there, she's gonna drop into a inward elbow. Boom, all right, let's see how this one works. Come over here. I'm being me and Miss Lizzie, I'm gonna grab Miss Lizzie, okay? From here, what she's gonna do, she's gonna drop and hit with the first two strikes. From there, let me turn you around this way. From there, this arm is gonna reach underneath because from this grab, she's gonna reach and trap from there. Now, she's gonna step through, the knee goes into the groin, boom, she kicks the inside of my knee, out, and as she drops forward, inward elbow. Can you handle that? Okay, now, we have one more technique and that's it for this level. And then we'll move on to the next video for you guys' master form, okay? Last technique, triggered salute. Triggered salutes for a right push. So somebody coming in, pushing right at that shoulder, at their left shoulder, okay? So what's gonna happen is as that happens, I want you to learn how to collapse your body. On this first move, what's gonna happen is as the strike is coming here, you're gonna collapse into it by letting this move back, which is your left shoulder, and then you collapse your right shoulder forward. As that happens, you're gonna step into them. So when that comes in, you're gonna take that right foot, step in, and as you do that, first thing that's happening is you're re-grabbing, you're stepping, and throwing a heel paw. So watch Miss Lizzie's first motion. Okay, bring it back. So again, she's underhand, grabbing, stepping forward, turning her body sideways into right neutral bow as she does a heel palm to the face. From that position, you're gonna form a crane position with your, uh, with your hand, and that's gonna just ride on the inside of the person's arm as you pull them in close to you. Now remember we said, we discussed earlier video, that your, in, your elbows are all close range weapons. So she's doing this in order to bring the person closer to her. From here, you're gonna do two elbows just like you did on base of aggression, except you're doing two body elbows. So from here, she's gonna do an inward elbow, that's going low to the body, then an outward elbow, from that position, the same right arm, is gonna extend out into a back fist position. 
So it's what we call a whipping back fist because when it goes out, it's going to strike and come right back to a chamber position. From here, last motion, she's going to do an uppercut right underneath the chin. All right? Bring it back. Face this way. So now, trigger salute. First motion, collapse forward into a right fighting stance. Remember, you're grabbing with your left, heel palm with the right. From there, crane with that right, pull them back in close. Good. Inward elbow to the body, outward body elbow. Then you're going to do a whipping back fist with that same right arm, pull back, and then uppercut. Good job. Bring it back. All right, we'll show you what this one looks like. So from here, as I shove that shoulder, she's repinning and hitting with a heel palm. We'll do it from this side also so you can see both sides. Again, as I'm pushing, she's catching that hand, repinning and going to a heel palm. From there, pull me in. Inward elbow from there. Boom. Outward elbow. Pow. Whipping back fist, which she's going to try to get right back here to the kidney. Ah! Ah! And from there, she's going to go into an uppercut. Triggered salute. That's your last technique. We'll do a next video for you guys have your master form, and we'll add that onto your form as you guys go. All right? Have fun. Practice by yourself. Don't tell anybody to throw this front so I can show you what I'm doing. Just practice by yourself. When you guys get to class, we'll get to working on these on the body, okay? Have a good one. Wish Danny loves you.